Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren. Thank you so much for watching. Today we're gonna be doing a shop with me on Sephora's website. I've done one of these like cyber window shop with me videos in the past and you guys really liked it. I'm so happy. I thought it was a really fun idea and I'm so glad to see that you guys enjoyed it as well. So this is going to be the second one and we're gonna be going onto Sephora's website. And I think it would be fun, someone suggested this, to actually go through and pick like a full face of makeup. If I didn't have anything in my drawers or if I just was going to buy a full face of makeup on Sephora's website, what would I pick up? And so that's what I'm going to do as I scroll through the website. Those are the things I'm going to keep in mind for the items I'm going to be picking out and that's kind of the fantasy we're living. So like with the other one, um, if this isn't something that you can watch and just like hang out with and instead of just being fun, it's going to trigger you to shop, please don't watch it. And remember the whole point of this video is for us to live a fantasy, have fun, window shop, be a part of the community and all that without actually purchasing anything. So at the end of it, I'm going to exit out of this cart. We're abandoning the shopping carts. We're not buying this stuff. We're just having fun and we're just window shopping, but online, okay? So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video and the little bit of like a twist or challenge that's added to the browsing. And yeah, let's just get into it and see what we pick. Hi guys, I think we're recording. I think everything's going. Uh, first off, I'm in different makeup. This is filmed a different day than that intro. I just had to go that way. But I wanted to share with you, look how cute my shirt is. I love the shirt so much. It's very chill. I love these videos because they are so chill and we can just hang out. It's almost like I'm live, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm like too scared to go live, honestly, if I'm being the most honest with you. That's why I haven't. But anyway, today we are going to be going on Sephora's website. I actually got this idea from one of you guys. You had the suggestion for me to go on Sephora's website and basically like pick out a full face of makeup um, as if I didn't have any makeup in my collection. And I thought it would be fun to go through the website and do that with you guys and see what's out and hang out. I love, love browsing Sephora's website so much. It's one of my favorite things to do if I just like don't know what I'm doing with my life. <laughs> It's like hanging out. I will go to Sephora's website and I will just see what's new. Usually, okay, so this is my page. I really hope I don't dox myself, but I am. Look, 296 measly little points and then I'm an insider. Um, but anyway, I usually will go straight to the new section. So I'll click on the new. I'll see what's up. I think Sam just got here. Okay, I don't know how much was cut out right then where we exactly were. Sam got home, so... That's the way it goes. Okay, so first thing I do whenever I get onto the Sephora page, I always check out the Just Arrived, my favorite part, my favorite thing to do. Already, we're seeing some really nice gems here. I love this Give Me Some Lip Balm set. I think it is so cute. You guys know I love lip balm. Um, it's funny that I'm still attracted to this because well, this Pat McGrath, honestly, I don't really love it. I'm finishing it up right now in my purse. This Tarte one is tinted, which is fine, but not my favorite. Oh, look, we can see them better. And then we have the Fresh Sugar Lip Balm, which I really, really love. One of my favorite lip balms, but this one is a mini, and I hate the minis because they get so, like, gross and gunky and, like, nasty. Um, yeah, highly suggest just, like, totally splashing out on the big one. And then they have this little peach lip balm, which I love. I would love to try that. Anyway, $29. I'm attracted to it because it's lip balm. Y'all know me. Oh my gosh, everything got changed around. <laughs> oh no. Um, okay, well the other thing I really liked with the Kaja, oh my gosh, these Air Heart lightweight lipsticks are freaking so cute. I love the packaging. I love the look of them. I don't know which one I'd like. Pale Pink or Sweetheart looks so pretty. Um, let's see if they have a swatch. Ugh, they don't just have swatches. If you guys have picked these up, let me know what you think. Oh, this one's so nice. Ride or Die is a Dusty Mauve. Those tend to work really well for me. Um, rich mahogany, it's beautiful. Oh, I just think these, they just chose the colors, like, so well, like, chef's kiss, man. Anyway, let's see how the, uh, oh god, let's just go to new. Um, let's just scroll down this a little bit, and then we'll get into picking the face, and we're gonna go through, like, everything, and I'm gonna do it just total fantasy style. I really have enjoyed this. I'm so glad you guys enjoyed the last one, and I'm glad you enjoyed the little noise of my thing because I didn't know if people would like literally hate it or love it. The Wired palette, I actually got that recently from Urban Decay. I'm still testing it out. I'm trying to get a video up. I just have been so bad about filming so I'm sorry guys. What else? Nothing else is really catching my eye so far. 
just at the top there. Oh, this looked nice from Ilya. It's the Super Serum Skin Tint Spectrum SPF 40 Sunscreen. Like, it's kind of like a foundation-y type product. Thought this looked nice. I feel like the shade range is a little weird online, but I wonder what it's like in person. Ooh, let me know if you guys have tried that. How do you like it? I mean, the fact that it looks like kind of oily, like it's like a serum thing. I wonder how it would work for me with my oily skin, but I just love those types of products, so I'm definitely interested. All right, should we stop? What do people say, dicking around? Is that too inappropriate for my channel, guys? I'm sorry if it was. I'm sorry. Ooh, I want to try this Kosas. Okay, all right, let's just do this. Okay, let's go shopping. We're going to shop for makeup, and we're going to start with the face, and we're going to start with a primer, face primer. Let's see what I would pick. I hope that I'm not blocking too much of the screen. I really tried. Maybe I should put myself over here. That might be better. I hope. Let me know if that's better. Anyway, okay, so we have different ones here. Wow, Goop is the, the number one super Goop. Okay, we're going to pick a primer. What I can tell you I'm not going to pick, definitely not picking the Professional, definitely not picking the Tatcha Silk Canvas. I actually, I'm not that into that one. Um, it's not like the worst, but it's definitely not my favorite. I do like the YSL one. What other ones do I really like? I love the First Aid Beauty Coconut Smoothie. That one is so nice. I have a feeling, though, that part of this fantasy will be trying products I probably don't already have in my collection. Like, I can... I'm pretty much assuming that, but maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Ooh, Banana Bright Face Primer. I might get that one. What else is there? Let me... Oh my god, there's four pages of primers. No one has time for this. This video is going to be hella long. Oh my gosh. Prepare yourself. I don't think that I'm going to do these ones. I kind of want to try that Ol Henrix one. Henriksen. Ol, Ol Henriksen? I don't know how to say it. Ooh, Brightening Youth Glow Primer though from Charlotte Tilbury. This might be my moment to try Charlotte Tilbury in a fantasy. Um, skin brightening primer with anti-aging and color correcting. Should we watch the video? Oh. Here we go. I never watch these videos. I mean, I'm sold. That's it. All she wrote. Okay, I'm gonna add this to my basket. Oh, there's already stuff in my basket. Okay, let me add this first. Then I gotta delete all this other shit in my basket. <laughs> now you guys can know what I really want. Look, Kaja, Kaja, <laughs> milk makeup, milk makeup. <laughs> oh, that's just like a little sample. Okay, so remove, remove. Oh, look, I have honey. All the ads got me, guys, and now I have honey. Okay, so let's keep looking. We have the primer. Let's move on to foundation. I am excited to look. So some foundations that stick out to me that I love. I love the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. What an amazing foundation. I also really like the Yensa foundation, but that actually isn't on here. So that one I'm not going to pick. They have a couple different... So there's some that I wanted to try. I mean... Obviously, I'm tempted by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm also tempted by this one or this Dior Backstage Face and Body. That has been one that's been on, like, my radar, if you will. Um, I also wanted to look at maybe some Natasha Denona. I don't know. Actually, I'm going to go with the Dior. I'm going to try. Maybe I'll make a little rule, although... I already don't know if I want to break the rule that I'm about to make for myself, but maybe I can really only pick like one item from each brand, so that way I can't just be like, it's all Charlotte Tilbury or something. Um, but let's do the Dior. This, I just, I really love the idea of it. Like, it's lightweight. Look how beautiful, I mean, her skin's beautiful beforehand, but it looks so nice and natural. I really love that about it. It seems like something that, would really work for me. I wonder what color I am though. I'm probably 0N or something around there. Maybe 1N. 0N or 1N are like the two that I would go with. So here's 0N. That just seems so light. I'll probably go with 1N. Yeah, I think that's gonna be my shade. So let's add that to my basket. Love it. 
We're already at $95, guys. Wow. I wonder what my face would be in this fantasy world. I mean, we're on Sephora, so we know it's already going to be pretty expensive, but holy shit. Okay, let's go to makeup. I am going to get a color corrector, and I don't even need to mess around. I mean, part of me is like, maybe I should try the Bobbi Brown one, but you guys know the Becca one's like my favorite. I love it, and it almost feels like, why would I even mess with that? Like, why would I even... But maybe we'll try this just to see. It's actually cheaper than, but what do I pick? No, I'm going to just go with a tried and true. That's one of the things, right? You're like shopping and you're like wanting to try new stuff. Oh, it's out of stock. I can't add it to my basket. Should I just add the darker one to like make a placeholder? I don't know. Okay, maybe it's a sign I should try the Bobbi Brown one, right? Don't we always try to look for, like, random signs that, like, are false? Not true at all. Um, okay, light bisque. I don't know. I think porcelain bisque, palest pink bisque, corrects purple, blue, red discoloration under the eyes. We're going to just do that. I'm pretty fair. Okay, great. Let's keep shopping. So we have... We need concealer. That's next on our list. We're going to get some concealer. There are so many amazing concealers I want to freaking try. I might even allow myself to get two because, <laughs> you know, why not? I want to try the Magic Away concealer. I probably would love that so freaking much. I also want to try that Becca one, the light one. I don't know if this got the best reviews, but mm, I want it. I really want this. A neutral beige for fair skin tones. Hi, sign me up. So that's going to be my under eye primer. I mean, concealer. What am I talking about here? But I do kind of want to get a concealer for the just face. Like if I have a blemish or maybe I have a little bit more redness I want to cover up. So maybe something with a little bit more coverage. Maybe something that, yeah, is just a little bit different. So let's see. I love a potted concealer. I really do. Um, what's one of your guys' favorite concealers? I mean, I'm using the uh, one from... Why do I have a highlighter? I'm using the one from um, Glossier, and I love it so much. But I'd love to know what you guys use. Clinique Line Smoothing. I feel like we're getting into ones like no one uses, no one talks about. Hmm. The retouching fluid is like a really lightweight foundation, right? It's not like a real, a real guy. Mm, I like this. All right. Oh, that's it. This is all the, oh my gosh, we looked at all of them. Oh, maybe I'll get the Natasha Denona. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know what to get. I don't even know. Am I just making something up to do it? Maybe I'll just stick with the one and like make it work. And like hope I don't get a pimple or something. I don't know if that's smart, but I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, moving on, we do concealer. Next in my routine, I would do bronzer. Um, so, oh no, I mean, yeah, I would do bronzer. We're just going to go by my face. So we'll go to bronzer, and I already have some favies. I love the Milk Makeup Bronzing Stick. It's amazing, so, so good, and I highly suggest it if you need to try something. That's what I suggest. As for bronzer, though, I kind of, I really would love to get this. Oh, my God. Um, I feel like all these bronzers are fine. I actually would love to try one of these bronzers. Um, but you can get a mini size, which is so nice. I actually have these in my kit, and I use them for other people, but I really don't use them on myself. A cool tone, a neutral bronze shade infused with nude light to mimic a subtle warmth. Ideal for fair light complexions. That's me, homie. Maybe I'll try that one. I think I'm going to try what they suggest. So that's going to be my bronzer. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to keep this as minimal as possible while still being like an actual full face. So I don't think that I'm going to go into like a cream bronzer and I'm not going to go into like a cream blush and a regular blush or multiple color blushes but we're gonna check out the blushes so oh my gosh it's so weird this blush color compared to everything else looks dead like it looks like it's dead 
weird. I mean, I'm sure it's a beautiful <laughs> blush, but next to all these really vibrant, bright colors, it's looking bad. I don't know what I want. Oh my gosh, there's just so many options. I've wanted to try the Kosa's um, dual ones. I've wanted to try the Jouer ones. This is what I want. This is what I want. Um, I want the most basic one. I think this is the one that I would want. <laughs> what is this? In a door, matte, warm, dusty peach, and a shimmering, warm, pale nude peach. Like, that is me. That's the blush I'm definitely getting. I'm so effing excited. I'm so excited for this fake package to arrive at my door. <laughs> um, let's move on to highlighter, which I actually need to still pick out um, a setting spray because I do that before I use highlighter, but we'll just move on to highlighter first. I want this Hollywood Flawless Filter so freaking bad, but I don't really want to use it as a highlighter. I'm just going to add it to my basket, <laughs> and I'm still going to just get other things around it. Because that's, a, in reality, like, I want that product so freaking bad. Okay, anyway, let's just pretend that didn't happen. Some highlighters on my list because there's an ongoing list of highlighters all of the time. I really want the Laura Mercier uh, Matte Radiance Baked Powder. I feel like that would be really amazing. I really want one of the Natasha Denona highlighters, like, so, so bad. Oh, that looks nice. Dior Face and Body Glow. Really love that. Mm. Okay. I get way too excited, you guys. Way too excited over this makeup when I have way too much already. What? What? Someone help. I really... Ooh, the strobe lighting. Are these the really intense ones? Let's watch a video again. That was kind of fun. Oh, I'm very well, excited Lorello. to talk to you guys oh about gosh. the ambient lighting wardrobe from Hourglass. Wow, okay. I mean, I want, I thought they had have like a real video. Not saying she doesn't make real videos, I just... Hey guys, it's Chloe Morello, and today I'm going wow. to show you how to achieve this looking product transition. Okay. Well, that, that wasn't what I was expecting. Um, I don't know if those are the really glowy ones. You know, one of the products I kind of feel like I missed out on are those, um, the Hourglass like trio. I really wish I would have got that trio in the metallic container. Ugh. Okay, so this is one I really want. The um, Swan, Shimmering Swan Highlighter from, what's it called? Pretty Vulgar. I have wanted to try these for a while, although none of these look like the colors I want. Not sure why that is. Maybe they're out of the one I like. I don't know. I guess I won't get that. That made it easy. Come on, you can do it, little computer. I think that I'm like really testing the limits here. I don't know if I should be down over here. I don't know if it's weird that I'm up in this corner. I'm gonna change me again. No, cause then I, no. Oh my gosh, the indecision's kicking in, guys. I wanna find Natasha Denona. I know what I want, I know what I want. There's no need to just pretend I don't. I want Natasha Denona and I want Ooh, I love this palette. I really wish I got that in a box of charm. Okay, anyway. I want Natasha Denona, not this gold one. I know you were scared for a moment. I want just the regular highlighter in the light shade. Oh, so bad. Super Glow. Number one, Icy Ivory. I just, okay, look how beautiful that is. I know it's a little icy, but I think it's going to look great. So I'm going to add that to my basket. That is my highlighter. Now let's get a face mist because I don't put on highlighter without a setting spray um, type of thing. Oh wow, these are, are there another way to look them up? Oh my gosh, come on, get it together. Face sets, maybe that? Oh, that's like a set. Okay, no. <laughs> Definitely not face sets. Okay, okay. <laughs> um... Let's just see. They must be in here along with a million powders. I'm just going to have to sift through. One of my absolute favorites is the Too Faced Hangover one. I might just end up getting that. But the What It Do spray from Fenty, I do want to try. Also, actually, I'm probably going to get that one. Let's just take a little gander down and like look through a couple more things to see. That's really the one I want. I almost got to try the Farsali, but it didn't really work. Oh my gosh, I wonder how the satin one is. Oh, people do not like this one. They don't like it. 
three stars. Let's look at some reviews. That's something I should do. I should do one of these where we're just looking at like bad products and looking at bad reviews. Okay, I love this product. It really does last all day, but sadly the nozzle keeps getting clogged. I did have an issue with my like sprayer sucking. Love this product so much, but having to return it because the spray stopped working. Okay. This one person did not have an experience with clogging, but basically literally everyone else. Wait, useless, don't buy, does not mattify or hydrate my face. The nozzle is horrible. Oh, whoa. Passionate, passionate over here. Uh, that one, <laughs> I think the reviews have steered me away. Oh my gosh, I could also get this one. A lot of you told me you really like getting this uh, Becca Skin Love at the Marshalls. At the Marshalls. <laughs> um... I kind of want to try that. A silky cloud-like mist that prime sets and refreshes. I really hope you can't hear the lawn guys outside. My apologies if you can. Hawaiian seawater. Well, if it's from Hawaii. And desert spring water. Oh, you got water from all different places. Okay, we're going to just do it. This has been on my list, right? I want that other one though too. Anyway, it's fine. <laughs> I want it all. I'll take Sephora, please. Thank you. Um, let's move on to maybe brows. Like next in my routine, I would do brows. So I need two different things for brows. I need an eyebrow pencil and I need a little thing. And you know what? I'm probably going to do, I'm probably just going to go with Benefit. Although I want to try the Kush one. Wow. As soon as I say one thing, all these products are here to play me <laughs> and make me wrong. Oh, I really love how small this little wand is. You guys, look. Look how tiny it is. I love that. This Bridget is blonde and red. No, thank you. Dark blonde, medium brown. Hmm. I wonder. That looks so light. Okay. Let's do this. It's $22.50, which is kind of crazy. How much is the Benefit one? Is it cheaper than the Benefit? Scandalous, if that's true. Okay. Um, yeah, it is. Oh, my God. Charlotte Tilbury little brow gel. Cheaper than Benefit. Who would have thought? Um, now I need a brow pencil, though, still. I mean, it's tough. Oh, let's do this is where I'll get Fenty because this is a newer product from them. Lots of great, like, look how many. Oh, my gosh. So many shades. The rainbow, but not really. It's like the neutral rainbow. Medium blonde for light to medium blonde hair, cool undertone. I'll probably get that one. Sometimes I feel like this one, a golden undertone. No, thank you. Um, so maybe I'll get the medium blonde. Dark ash blonde for medium to dark blonde hair, taupe, cool undertone. That does not look cool. Like, that looks red, right? What? Oh, what? Huh. I don't think these pictures are doing any of it justice. This is what they think. Okay. Mm. Oh, I do like that better. I don't know. I kind of like these brows the best out of this one or this one. So maybe that's... I think I'm going to go with this one, actually. Dark Ash Blonde. Because I just like it's a little more cool. Even though, again, picture-wise, like that's the brow and then that's the color. That doesn't seem right. Anyway, we're going to get that one. We're at 390. Holy moly, you guys. And we just finished brows. We still have all of our eye makeup and our lips to do. So let's do eye primer. We definitely need an eye primer. I've used in the past the Urban Decay one. I actually own that currently. I've also used the Too Faced Shadow Insurance in the past. I don't know what the best one is, but I will say I do really enjoy... Um, when they, they eat in, I think, I think I'm going to get eaten because I think this kind of like, um, blocks out your eye, you know, space so that it doesn't show. And I really, really like that. So I think I'm going to get eaten. And now this is going to be the hardest part. We're going to shop for some eye palettes. I can get one eye palette, you guys. What the, how am I going to do this? Um, I love the Jackie Ina palette. It's kind of sad to me it's already on sale. I mean, I'm glad people can get it on a discount, don't get me wrong, but I feel like it was just so fast. Um, okay, what I'm looking for in a palette. 
I want something with cool tones just because I'm into that. I definitely want some lighter shades and some neutrals because I do tend to wear those. I also do want a few pops of color maybe. Uh, maybe I'll let myself get one crazy sparkly shade or something to like add on. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking maybe. Um, I, I'm not entirely sure. Really love these little bento boxes. Maybe I'll let myself get three different like palettes or eye shadow type products. Maybe that'll be a nice like medium or what am I saying? That'll be a nice uh, compromise. Like I think this is so pretty. I know. Let's see if it has any glitter in it. Doesn't look like it. Synthetic doesn't look like it. I think we're good. I think we made it. I really like this one. Let's see shades. It's basically, it's like pink and cool tone. Eh, eh, eh. Not my, no, I'm not going to do it. There is one little quad from Charlotte Tilbury that I've really liked. I don't want the matte finish. This one I thought was really pretty. This is the rocker girl or something. Oh no, we're frozen. You guys. I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. This is the rock rock chick. I love the colors in here. Let's see a little quad. That's pretty. Um, I also thought this one is pretty, but again, it has the pinks. I'm gonna mm, I'm gonna add this to my basket right now as my cool toned little guy. Next, we're gonna look for maybe something colorful. I don't know if I want to go as colorful as the Wired palette. I'd rather have something with um, some of those colorful shades, but also just some, like, maybe other neutrals and shimmers and whatnot. Um, or maybe I can get the Carly Bible, and it has some of those cool tones, and it has shimmers. Okay, that's what I'm doing. So let me go to my cart really fast. I'm going to get rid of the Charlotte actually we'll keep it now and then we can always delete it if I find something else I do really like okay great we have some colors we have some neutrals now we can just have a little bit of fun I'd love like a shimmery duochrome top coat type thing don't know if I'm gonna find oh my god what am I doing why am I wasting my time with these piddly little palettes when I could be getting the Natasha Denona gold palette hi add that to my basket thank you thank you um, I also would love to get one of the Pat McGrath, I think that blue one, or this one, I think it's so freaking beautiful. Okay, let's keep looking, but that's on my list, it's on my list. Um, Sephora Pro, I mean, that is pretty, it'd get me a lot of colors real fast. Mm, I Melt Gemini, super tempting. Um... I always was so attracted to the star palette, honestly. I think that it has some really beautiful grungy shades in there. Oh, look at this. This guy's still on the website. House of Lashes, still on the freaking website. How does that happen? Someone. Oh my gosh, this is really what I want. This is what I want. Look at me. It's like all Natasha Denona. You guys. Send, oh, I want a Rowan quad too because of Hannah. Okay, oh my god. I'm going to add them and then I'm going to go through once I'm like, you know, have them and then decide. I think, I don't know if I want the warm. I think I'd want the neutral. I think I would want this, honestly. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, I think this offers a little, like, I feel like that shade, the, like, brown, is still quite warm. So I'm going to add that to my basket. Why are eyeshadows the most beautiful makeup? Someone tell me. Okay. Continuing on. How many pages are there? I think we were on page three. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because there's the Rowan thing. Okay. What else is so pretty? What else do I want? Living the full fantasy right now. Not giving an F about budget. <laughs> and just really focusing on something that I want. Violet Voss Sugar Crystals has been on my list for a while. I really like that it also has some duochromatic shades, which is something I'm looking for. So maybe I'll just quickly add that to my basket. <laughs> I don't know. Um, continuing on, 
I always thought that this Sephora palette was absolutely beautiful. Out of all of the Sephora pros, it was the one I just thought, like basically this right here, this like nine pan, get out, unreal. I should try to recreate that in my collection. Even this nine pan, oh, I love it. That's beautiful. That's not as beautiful. <laughs> this one's really pretty too with that periwinkle. I just love those colors together. I don't think I'm going to get it, but it was a contender. It could have been a contender. Oh, you know what a really beautiful um, cool tone stack is? The gun, me gun metal, yeah. Gun metal stack. Add that one to my basket because why the hell not? I'm just going to go delete it later. This is what I do. I'm telling you, I do this all of the time by myself. Probably an unhealthy amount. Okay. <laughs> I also do really love the Viseart's, but I think I'm, I'm willing to kind of go with the other palettes I have. So let me go through. Actually, let's go pick out a mascara. Give us some time to let those palettes sink in. And then we can go back and really figure out what we're doing. So we want to go and get some mascara. I'm probably going to pick up an eyeliner, but I don't really care at the moment. Out of all the mascaras, what I think I'm just going to get the Perversion. That was like my go-to before, and I think I'm just going to stick with it. I really don't care about mascaras. I just want it to work. Honestly, I just need you to do your job. Do your job. Do what you get paid to do. Okay, make my eyes look good and do not go everywhere. While we're here, um, Makeup Forever has these artist pencils, which I think are so fun. And I'm going to get Wherever Walnut, which is sold out. Are you kidding me? That's my favorite lip liner. Are you kidding me? I love that. It's my favorite one and I highly suggest it. Should I try a new one? Oh my gosh. It's like I told too many people about the secret, you know, like when you shouldn't have told people. That's the color of the lip liner. It's beautiful. Highly suggest it. But maybe, I don't really like that one. Maybe this one. Her lips look nice. It's a little pinky. Look how nice her makeup looks. I like it. Um, I'm going to add, I guess, completely sepia or sepia. How do you say that? Um, and maybe I'll add that. Full scale rust. Ooh, it looks. Where's the lady it was just on? Oh, wow, that's cool. That's fun. How is this? Oh, it's up in her brows. It's not on her lips. Okay, we're gonna just. I kind of want pillow talk though. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, okay, okay. I'm getting distracted, you guys. Let's go to eyeliner. We're going to stick to eyeliner. I like to go for like a brown. I like to go for something like that. So I think I'm going to go first. I think I'm just going to go with Urban Decay because I don't put them on my waterline. I don't really have an issue. Where are they? You would think they'd be one of the first ones. Oh, they are. Mm -hmm. I want to go with something kind of fun. Maybe something Desperation Deep Taupe to Matte Gray. Um, I don't really want a matte one. I kind of want a little shimmer in there. Deepest gray matte. Dark gunmetal shimmer with silver micro sparkle. Mm, maybe I do want this. I'm going to go with this one. That's the one I'm going to go with. And then I do want to go with one that's going to go in my waterline. And that's going to make my eyes... Um, look brighter. I just, I like having those in my arsenal as well. And I love the fake wig from Tarte. I think I'm just going to stick with the one I have. I think it works really well. So that's the one we're going to do. Now we're going to move on to lips. I'm going to go the full lip route, honestly, because <laughs> I can, because I can. Okay. So lip liner, pillow talk. I want pillow talk from Charlotte Tilbury. Everyone's favorite pinky nude. Hi, let's try it out, right? We're over a thousand dollars. Holy camoly, guys. Um, now we're gonna go for a lipstick. It's kind of tough because really 
you could go crazy and you could get so many different lipsticks you could get different colors maybe I'll let myself have three different colors like a neutral a fun one something else I don't know three seems pretty reasonable so I'm gonna go with the new Kaja lipstick hello I think we knew that was coming pretty sure where are they why aren't they on the front page Wow here we go here we go I definitely want to try the Kaja so we're gonna get um, I think we decided ride or die would look best on me that's it I think that would look the like really nice get out of here <laughs> I can't get rid of it oh it looks better on her skin tone definitely maybe it's a little deep <laughs> No, I don't want the drop list. I just want to see the picture. That's what I'm doing here. Maybe I'll get this one. It looks so good, right? Oh, I think I'm convinced to get this one now from looking at it. Only $17. What a steal. And now we're going to look at, should we watch the video? Let's see what they say for the video. Cute. I think that's a cute little video. I'm going to buy it now. Okay. And last, let's look at a lip gloss and also a lip balm because, you know, we have to. I'm not even letting myself look at liquid lipsticks because who cares? Who'd care? I don't know what I want. So I can't really... Oh, I do. I want the Kosa ones. Um, there's the jellyfish, which is just clear. I think that's a little too basic. Let's do dip, which is a neutral pearly nude. I think that would look really good with the lip liner that I'm picking out. Um, let me show you what that looks like. Dip is the middle one. I think that's nice. I think that's the one I'm going to do. So we're going to add dip and now we're going to get a lip balm and I'm pretty sure I'm just going to stick with my Favy Flavy, um, which is the fresh sugar. I mean, if I was really doing this, what I, I would probably just want to get that because I know I love it instead of having one I don't really like and I'm like, then I have it and it's like, I wish I didn't. So we're going to do the fresh sugar. Oh. I wish that, I don't know what the difference is between the advanced lip therapy and the other one. Not sure. I'm just going to go with the regular though. I just like the brown packaging better, honestly. So we're going to get that. And I think that's everything. So we have primer, foundation. I think we have everything. Let's just take a look at what the options are. We have face we've done it lips we've done it eyes we've done it oh I didn't do false lashes but I wouldn't I don't care about that um I think we're good oh my gosh okay so now let us go over here and I need to eliminate my um, eyeshadows down to only three so that way I can be realistic definitely getting the Natasha Denona quad Definitely. I think because I'm getting that, I don't need the melt, although I think it's beautiful. So we can get eliminate. Eliminate. Um, next, honestly, I love the bright colors here, but I think I could make these work, so I'm going to get rid of the Violet Boss. Oh my god, I'm such a bougie bitch. I'm getting rid of that, and I'm going to get rid of Like, that's the reality. If I had all the money in the world, it didn't matter. It was just about items. These are the three palettes I'd get. Natasha Denona Gold. I'd get the Natasha Denona 28 pan palette. I know, crazy. And then I would get the Rowan Beauty. And honestly, part of the reason that I'm really into these Natasha Denona is I do have sometimes issues with the mattes, but I find that a lot of the times when I'm creating eye looks nowadays, I don't even get mattes. I don't even use mattes. I just use the shimmers. And I do know that Natasha Denona makes a bomb sparkle. So... That's what, that's what I thought. Okay, anyway, let's go through my basket. I'm going to move myself over. I'm going to get rid of this dancing coin. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm going to move myself down over here. 
Hopefully I'm not doxing myself in my address. I know Sam would probably not be happy about that. Okay, I made myself a little bigger. Hi, guys. Um, let's, oh, look, they're always trying to get you. Spend just 18 more to reach Rouge because this basket is, like, at $1,000. Okay, so what we picked out. We have the Charlotte Tilbury Brightening Youth Glow Primer. So excited for that. $55, very expensive. The Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. Love it. Super lightweight. I feel like it's not super dewy, but it's not matte. I think that would be so nice. And it it's a 1.6 ounce bottle, which is going to last you a really long time for 40 bucks. The Bobbi Brown Under Eye Corrector, since my favorite one was out. And I got the shade Porcelain Bisque, and that's $29. Next, for concealer, the only concealer we have besides the color corrector, which, honestly, you can use color correctors like that on blemishes if you have the Becca one. I use that on blemishes all the time. So I actually think that will be a nice dual purpose and we can get away, at least with how my skin usually is, without having another concealer. Anyway, the Becca Light Shifter Brightening Concealer, I have it in a Mitt 1, and that's $28. For a bronzer, I kept it pretty basic, and this is the Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Nude Bronze Light for $52. Holy shit, that is expensive for one bronzer. $50 for one I didn't realize they were that much money, guys. Woo, that's a lot. Um, next, we have a Jouet Cosmetics um, Blush Duo, and this is actually exciting. Honestly, this type of um, base makeup is something that I could easily see myself using every single day, and I don't think that I would be wanting for more. Honestly, when it comes to the eyeshadows, that's where I just want everything. But for my base, I just want it to look perfect and like this flawless without being like a cakey mask every day. I could do the same thing over and over. Anyway, love that blush duo. 30 bucks for that. I did pick two highlighters. One is the liquid one um, that you could use that way. I might try to use it as like primer and under glowy thing. Kind of went a little rogue on that one, but I don't care. And that one was the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Been on my list for forever. I guess I just accidentally picked the color shade for medium. Don't know how that happened, but I would get the shade that actually would work for me, and that's $44. Natasha Denona's Super Glow Highlighter is $38, and I got it in number one fair. For a setting mist, oh, I'm excited for this, Becca Skin Love Glow Shield Prime and Set Mist for $32. The Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows Eyebrow Gel for my eyebrows. That is exciting, and I cannot believe the price point compared to something like Benefit. And then I did pick the Fenty by Rihanna Brow MVP Brow Pencil in Dark Ash Blonde. I think that one would work best for $20, although I really don't spend high-end amounts of money on any of those types of brow pencils anymore. I would always go with my... Um, color pop if I wasn't trying something cheaper. For an eye primer, I decided to go with the Urban Decay, and the reason I went with the Eden one is so that it could really block out my um, just lids. I feel like if I don't, when I'm adding a shimmer um, and it's not covering everything, it can just look a little bit more messy, and shimmers tend to already look a little bit more, I guess you could say, just a little more like grungy. You don't care what's going on, and so I think that would help for 24. Natasha Denona, for my three eyeshadow palettes, we're crazy Natasha Denona fans over here. Who am I? I got the gold palette. I got the 28 palette. I just love, I love, love, love all of these blues and purples. I mean, look at them. How could you not? I just can see myself using so many of those. So that's what I put. <laughs> I'm wearing a lot of those colors. Dancing coin, get out of here. Um, and then I have the Rowan Beauty Cool Eyeshadow Palette. For mascara, we went with Urban Decay Perversion. I have two different eyeliners. One is a, like, taupey gray color um, that's matte. And then I also have a really creamy one, like a cream-colored one, on my inner waterline. I did get a lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury in the Lip Cheat. I got the Kaja Air Heart Lightweight Natural Finish Lipstick in Sweetheart. I do realize I did not pick out any other colors, um, and probably what I would do is get one of the NARS um, Velvet Matte Pencils. Maybe I'll go do that in the red color, so that way I have a red, and that's really all I wear. I don't really wear much else. I picked the Kosa Wet Lip Oil Gloss for $27. My lip balm is from Fresh, 
my favorite lip balm. Love that thing. Don't even feel the need to try anything else out. And I need to go pick out that NARS one because I think then I'll make rouge, guys. I'll make rouge. <laughs> um, let's go to lipsticks. I think these are really great matte pencils if you're looking for something. I'm probably going to go with Dragon Girl. It's like a siren red. Really love an orangey red. Um, oh, that one actually is more my color, but it's not really showing up. Should we watch the video? Oh, here we go. These are some of my favorite products that NARS makes is the Velvet Matte Lip Pencil because I know that I can outline and fill in my whole entire lip and it stays in place. The exactly. colors have an amazing, rich, matte finish, but they're never dry. I chose this Velvet Matte Lip Pencil shade called Intriguing. It's That's an a interesting pretty color. modern take on a nude for medium skin. It's a really rich pigment in a high color payoff. The matte finish allows you to have a buildable texture with this so that you can apply a little bit where you can always add more. Draft, okay, okay. Too long. Gold, this is too much. Off, spending a lot of time wrapping. Um, I think I'm just going to go with this Siren Red. I just can't tell. If I was in person, I would go with the most orangey red there was. All right, now let's go to my basket. We hit it, guys. We hit rouge. We're turning to rouge this year. Um, and I'm at $1,008.50, and that's not including any tax at all, which on here is probably going to be about $100 because it's about 10%, which is insanity. Super insane. Not what I want to be doing. I mean, think of all the things that you could do with $1,000 over buying this makeup. And now this was a fantasy. Let me make myself big. I'm going to do my little exiting out. You have to be hearing that. Oh, my gosh. I think they're far enough away. Okay, okay, okay. Let's take our moment and opportunity to shine. All right, what I was trying to say about this money, I was saying that this is a lot of money, $1,000. Think of all the things that $1,000 can buy you. It's a lot, it's a lot. There's so much out there that you could buy. But I will say that because of this exercise, right, like I picked out a full face, I do think that if, if you bought all this stuff, let's say you spent $1,000. A lot of this stuff would last you a really long time and then as you just buy piece by piece to replace, let's say you use up the corrector, you use up your concealer, you use up your primer, and you replace those items and maybe you buy throughout the year one, maybe two extra items to add. I don't think that's too bad because, I mean, think of how much I have for my beauty budget for the year. This would be enough for a full face. And I think if you're adding responsibly to this list, you can't see it anymore because I'm covering it, but if you're adding responsibly to this list as you use things up, I actually don't think that this would be too bad. Um, I mean, it's all high end. You're getting amazing stuff. And if you weren't buying eyeshadow palettes left, right, here and there, it could work out. And this investment, I don't know, is that something we say? Um, this, you know, amount of money would last you a really long time. And if you weren't continuously pouring more and more and more money into the makeup, you could really let this stretch out for a really long time where you wouldn't need to buy stuff. You would have a lot of shades. You know, I, I think there's two kind of minds about it. I'd love to know your thoughts. And other than that, guys, let me exit out of here because that's what we do. Goodbye, Sephora. We don't need you. Right? We don't actually buy the stuff. We just hang out and um, look at and live a fantasy. But I want to say thanks so much, you guys, for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have a feeling it was super long. So if you're here and you sat and, you know, watched it with me, <laughs> watched or shopped with me, I really do appreciate it. Let me know what you want me to do next if you have, like, a specific thing. Um, I'm willing to maybe check out, like, Ulta's website. I think this is a really fun way to be a part of the community, have fun with makeup, and, again, keeping it that fantasy, keeping it totally non-buying and just like you know hypothetical is what I keep saying like we talk about makeup hypothetically on my channel um, and this really continues that on thank you guys so much for watching and let me know if you want this to be like a weekly series I'm thinking about uploading them like every Sunday something that I after testing out the other one like the first one that I did I was thinking that it went over pretty well and uh, you can use it as like a relaxing time to hang out on Sunday maybe I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Anyway, thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate it so much. And other than that, I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye, guys.